Hey guys, I'm Hugh Pinfold. Um, I'm the Director of Design and Engineering for North Kiteboarding and today we're going to talk about the Navigator Control System. So the Navigator Control System comes in two sizes. It comes in a medium which is 45 to 50 centimetres long and it comes in a large which is 50 to 55 centimetres long. One of the things we're super proud of is the Connect uh, quick release system and we wanted it to be as easy as a car seat belt. So it's just a single action reload. All you have to do is just push and you're connected. So uh, another unique thing about the Navigator control system is our toolless interloop. So if you're wanting to change out your loop, all you have to do is release and you slide this little lock guard around. You pull it down and with two thumbs you kind of work it around and up onto the finger. And then to release it, it's just a simple push, twist, pull. And if you're wanting to use a rope harness instead, we've got our, our surf slider. And to reload, it's the exact same action again. It's just a push, twist, pull. And then you want to make sure that you have a gap here, which is large enough to fit our lock guard. And then you know it's, it's completely engaged. So twist that out of the way and a simple push connect. So you'll notice with the Navigator control system, uh, it comes with the standard free ride loop and we just wanted to make it so it's ready to ride when you get it. Um, we've tried to do this with all of our products. So for example, our surfboards, they also come with fins with them. So if you've ordered something new and it turns up, you can get straight out there, it's ready to ride. So this is our medium bar. And so to go from 50 centimeters long to 45, you just pull these cassettes out and you flip them around 180 and push them back in. So our, our factory setting is coming on the wider setting and so that has the plus facing outwards. If you want to go narrower, just make sure that you switch both sides around. So all of our line lengths are the same, exactly the same. So we've achieved this by having a loop to loop connection on both sides of our front lines. And what that does is it just makes it super easy to A, check your lines to make sure they're the same length. And if you want to replace one, then they're all the same length. So it makes it super easy. So each of our line connectors on the end of our flying lines or our pigtails on our kites are exactly the same part and they're the same length. So if you're wanting to use a third party kite or control bar, it's easy to switch them over if the knots and the loops are on the, on the other side. So our flying lines come as 22 metres and we have a split at the 12 metre mark. And so that enables you to take the top 10 metre length off and fly a kite. This is for people who are wanting to do the mega loops, you know, with the kite below them, or some people are foiling with short lines, or a lot of schools don't have enough space to teach with the full length lines, so they can take that top section off and teach with 12s. With our lines, we've managed to get the best of both worlds. They're really small diameter for low parasitic drag and very, very high strength to weight ratio. So in terms of bar maintenance, it's always good practice to run your lines out after you've been using the bar for a while and just check that everything's, everything's the correct length. So our factory setting is actually when the bar has two centimetre gap above the top spinning handle here. If you find that it's out further, then your kites might be just a little bit over sheeted. And so you just grab the bar width adjuster, these little plastic parts, and you pull them out until you get to the leader knots here. And you undo the lark's head and pull it down to the lower knot. So when you let this back in again, make sure that you've got it on the plus setting or the minus setting, and then do the same procedure on the other side. So something unique about the Connect is, is how wide the body is at the bottom here. So it enables you with 
the standard free ride loop that you get to be able to hook back in super easily. So over time some loops can get more and more squashed like this but the distance between the actual loop is still one and a half times the width of your standard spreader bar hook. So I'm actually using this, this standard loop because it still keeps the trim strap really close to you even when I'm un unhooked riding. There's certain freestyle junkies might still want the, the long loop which we offer which comes without a finger but for most people this is going to work for your big air or your unhooked riding. The other thing we've done is added stiffening material to the inside here and so as it's squeezed it will always bounce back and so it's easy to hook back in again. So the cool thing about our standard free ride loop that comes complete with our control system is that you can, you can fasten it to the Mystic Stealth bar as a rope slider also. So it comes with this little ring, so you can just thread it through. It's easy to connect with our connect system and you're ready to ride. So I use this when I'm foiling or wave riding. I find it super, super handy. And if you want to, while you're out there and you think, oh, actually, I think I want to do a twin tip session now, I've got a cool little feature where if you release this, you can thread the ring up through this little fixed loop and then you can connect back through there again and then it's in free ride mode and so it's not moving and so if you're wanting to do some jumps this feels a lot better. And so if you'd like to bring the whole trim system closer to you again you can use one of our surf sliders which is three centimeters shorter than our standard free ride loop and you can connect that directly to the slider rope and so that's also going to bring it closer. So rather than connecting to the ring, you can go directly to the rope. And so this is really good if you like, if you like everything being super close to you, then this is the setup for you. Our multiboard tubing profile is quite unique. Um, a lot of the circular profiles you have out there, as, they, as the landing line pulls through and deploys, it can get caught on, on one side it's narrower and on the other side it's wider. So you've kind of got a 50% chance that it's gonna, it's gonna deploy and, and reload without any snags. Whereas we've gone with a custom profile which, are, which has a symmetric shape for the landing line cavity. And this just makes the whole system a lot more reliable. The cleat that we ended up going with is actually an aluminium cleat. So it's half the weight of what a stainless steel one is. And all of your kind of weight up here is all swing weight. So we wanted to keep this as light and strong as possible. We added this little cleat stopper ball here. And so if you don't have the ball, when you power up completely, this trim handle seems to sort of stick 90 degrees to the cleat there. So by adding the ball, the trim handle sort of flops down and it becomes another eight centimeters closer to the rider. So in summary, with all of our kites being designed to have a shorter depower stroke, our trim system being easier to reach, and if you wanted to, you could use our shorter free ride loop. It just makes it much easier for people with a shorter reach to depower their kite. So we're pretty stoked with how the Navigator control systems come out. It's got some pretty cool new features on it. It's all pretty modular, so you can, you can change it out to whatever your style of riding is. And it's, it's pretty clean and simple, and it uses the best quality materials that we could find. So if you haven't had a chance to try one yet, then look up your nearest demo and get out there.